Looks good. This morning in the Modern Parent, it has been a great summer, but back to school time is here. For many, it may be tough to put the summer fun behind them and get back on track for a great school year. We recently stopped by to see our friends at the Children's Workshop for some tips. As we think about our kids going back to school, we really want to make sure that they're set up for success and that they have the ability to focus and stay on track as much as possible throughout their school day. We need to help our kids stay on the right path to success. As parents, we want to help kids practice how to focus and provide them with the opportunity to focus even at home. The first point is to really be thinking about setting expectations for your children. And what I mean by expectations is hold them accountable for things, give them chores and different tasks that they're responsible for within the household. Distractions can be difficult for children, so whenever you're having them practice focusing, you want to make sure that we're setting them up for success so they have that confidence factor, um, you know, later on for in school. So manage the distractions. You want to turn off all of your electronic devices, you want to keep the TV off, and maybe be in a quiet, peaceful room of your home. Getting kids to do their homework can be challenging for parents. Homework time is super, super important important at home. So what does your homework routine look like within your home? Think about what's the time frame for homework time? Do we want to set a timer? Is there a certain place of our house that we're going to do homework each day? Making a list is super helpful, I think, for us as adults. And we sometimes forget that that strategy can be helpful for our children as well. Using something like a family whiteboard, using sticky notes on a poster, writing down a simple list and checking off items can be a really great strategy to help children stay on track, but we're also teaching them how to read and also how to manage their time. Kids also need time just to be kids. Allowing your children enough time to maybe read a book or complete a puzzle or help with the laundry, but also tell them, you know, we're practicing, you know, finishing a task from beginning to end, or let's see how much time it takes us, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes to accomplish these items. Multitasking can be very difficult for children. We do it as adults, but really break down household tasks um, as much as you can for your kids. Start with something small, and if you have to add other items, add them in there gradually for the kids. Sometimes you just need to take it easy and relax. I think it's really important for kids to be mindful and to take a deep breath. That's something that is beneficial for us as adults in our, in our crazy days and our crazy lifestyles. But teach them how to pause and be present and sort of bring it all in and practice those deep belly breaths. It can be super beneficial for them. Not bad. The new school year can be overwhelming for not only for the kids, but for you as well. We're going to post a link to the Children's Workshop on our website, roadshow.com.